Felicitations, dear space suckers. Moment, we claw into the fascinating world of black holes and examine the implicit trouble they pose to our macrocosm. The expression, laughtering imminence, might sound like a dramatic superhero banner, but when it comes to black holes, it could not be more applicable. These cosmic brutes are the ultimate vacuum cleansers, with an infinitely important pull that can stink up anything that gets too close. But we will talk about the peril of black holes later. Still, the answer might surprise you. People did not really start allowing black holes until the 20th century. If you have ever wondered when scientists first discovered black holes, indeed, some scientists have expressed doubts about the actuality of these cosmic voids. It was not until the 1960s and 1970s that the substantiation became too inviting to ignore. Black holes have a huge impact on the macrocosm, literally. They can underpin space-time, alter the circles of nearby globes and stars, and indeed affect how worlds form. In fact, nearly every world in the macrocosm is allowed to contain at least one supermassive black hole at its center. We know enough, let's talk about what we do not know. What's the riddle of black holes? Is it because they are fully devoid of visible matter? In fact, their gravitational effects are visible, but the objects causing them are not. Or could they hold the keys to mystifications of the macrocosm that we have yet to uncover? Stay tuned for the coming investigation, where we will take a deeper look at what a black hole really is and how it behaves. Ah, the million bone question, what exactly is a black hole? In simple terms, a black hole is a region of space with an immensely strong gravitational pull, so strong that light cannot escape from it. Yes, you heard that rightly. These suckers are so important that they can literally consume light. It's like the ultimate black hole diet plan. Can you imagine? Black holes have been the content of scientific seductiveness for centuries. With astronomers and physicists always trying to understand and explain the mystifications girding them. The concept of black holes was first introduced by John Mitchell and P. S. Simon Laplace back in the late 18th century. Still, it was not until the 20th century that the proposition gained a base in scientific circles. Now, let's get to the juicy details of black holes, their deconstruction. At the heart of every black hole lies an oddity, a point in space where the laws of drugs check to live. Then, the gravitational pull is so strong that it causes the fabric of space-time to underpinning and stretch. This pull increases as you move closer to the center of the black hole, a region called the event horizon. Once you cross the event horizon, there's no turning back. Which is why it's also known as the point of no return. Moving on, there are three types of black holes that we know of, astral, intermediate, and supermassive. Astral black holes are formed from the remnants of a massive star explosion, while intermediate black holes are the result of a star cluster collapse. Supermassive black holes, on the other hand, are set up in the center of most worlds, including our veritably own Milky Way. These black holes have a mass that ranges from millions to billions of times that of our Sun. Talk about a heavyweight champion, huh? We see that black holes are the most mysterious and mystic objects in the macrocosm, but did you see that they are also the most hazardous? The extreme gravitational forces within a black hole can have disastrous effects on anything that comes too close. In this section, we will explore the crucial troubles that black holes pose to our macrocosm. One of the most intimidating aspects of black holes is their sequel to matter. Once anything enters the event horizon of a black hole, it's hauled in inexorably towards the oddity at the locus. Then, matter is condensed to an atomic point known as an oddity, where the ordinances of drugs as we see them break up entirely. The oddity is a point of horizonless viscosity and zero measure, 
and anything that enters it stretched and pressed beyond recognition. This process is known as spaghettification, and it isn't an affable portion for anything or anyone. Once an object is inside the event horizon, there is no escape from the gravitational pull of the black hole. Black holes do not precisely draw matter when it enters their event horizon. They can also have a profound sequel on girding substances. The violent graveness of a black hole can cook the space-time around it, causing it to underpinning and twist in ways that aren't completely understood. As matter approaches a black hole, it can become compressed and superheated. Evolving violent X-rays and other forms of radiation This radiation can be murderous to anything in its path, and it can also affect nearby globes and elysian bodies. Approaching a black hole is one of the ultimate acts of asininity in the macrocosm. As we have discerned, the gravitational forces are so immense that anything that enters the event horizon is hauled towards the oddity and condensed to a point of horizonly viscosity. And it's not precisely count that is affected, even light cannot escape the draw of a black hole. That means that if you get too close to a black hole, you will not only be ripped piecemeal by tidal forces, but you will also be plunged into grand blackness. Therefore, if you were calculating on taking a trip to the nearest black hole, you might want to review. Are you looking for a black hole that could pose trouble to us in the Milky Way? Look no farther than the closest black hole, V616 Monocerotis. Discovered by a transnational platoon of astronomers in 1994. This black hole is located 3,000 light-years down from Earth in the constellation Monoceros. But do not fear, the black hole isn't on a collision course with our solar system. In fact, it's relatively far down. The closest black hole to Earth is V616 Monocerotis, a black hole with a mass of around three times that of the Sun. Despite its fairly close proximity to Earth, the black hole is still around 3,000 light-years away in the constellation Monoceros. Although the distance may feel vast, it's not out of the question to wonder what would happen if V616 Monocerotus were to approach Earth. While there is no immediate peril, it's clearly a commodity worth valuing. The fact remains that this personal black hole is fairly close, making it a point of interest for scientists and astronomers alike. Piecemeal from its propinquity, V616 Monocerotis is an intriguing black hole to study due to its relative size. As mentioned above, this black hole has a mass of around three times that of the Sun. It's not as massive as other black holes, but it still holds a lot of implicit conspiracy for experimenters. Interestingly enough, V616 Monocerotis also plays a part in the evolution of black hole propositions and understanding. As experimenters continue to learn more about the closest black hole, they're able to better understand the characteristics and nature of the black holes in our macrocosm. All in all, the closest black hole to Earth is V616 Monocerotis. While it's not presently a trouble to our Earth or solar system, it's still an important point of interest in the scientific community. With its propinquity and relative size, it has the implicit ability to educate us a great deal about black holes and their influence on the macrocosm at large. Studying black holes is a grueling task. Unlike stars, they don't discharge light, making their compliance more fugitive. Nonetheless, astronomers have developed colorful styles to probe black holes. One similar system is the shadowing of stars and gas swirling around a black hole. As the black hole pulls the matter towards it, the girding matter begins to toast up and discharge important radiation. Astronomers can use telescopes to observe. Current exploration of black holes is concentrated on heightening our understanding of their parcels and geology. Scientists are working out to answer abecedarian questions similar to what happens at the oddity at the locus of a black hole and what part black holes play in the confirmation and elaboration of worlds. In recent times, 
Scientists have also sought to develop new technologies to observe and understand black holes more. One similar technology is the Event Horizon Telescope, which uses a network of telescopes around the world to observe the terrain around a black hole. The data collected by this telescope has formally led to groundbreaking findings and is anticipated to indeed shed more light on the nature of black holes in the future. Exploration of black holes is a charming field that continues to push the boundaries of our understanding of the macrocosm. As scientists continue to develop new tools and ways to study these mystic objects, we can only anticipate gaining further perceptivity into the mystifications of the macrocosm. When it comes to black holes, there are a plenitude of misconceptions that have been perpetuated over the years. These misconceptions have led to a lot of distraction and misinformation about what black holes actually are and what they do. In this section, we will explore some of the most common or garden misconceptions about black holes and set the story right. One of the most popular misconceptions is that black holes are monsters that swallow everything in their path. While it's true that black holes are extremely important and have a massive gravitational draw, they don't precisely stink up everything in their presence. Objects that are far down from the black hole and moving down from it won't get hauled in. Only objects that are close enough and moving towards the black hole will ultimately get hauled in. Another common or garden myth is that black holes are like cosmic vacuums that stink up all the light in the macrocosm. While it's true that black holes are delicate to know because they don't discharge any light, they don't precisely stink up all the light. However, It'll remain to discharge light and be visible to spectators on Earth if a star is ringing around a black hole. Only when the star gets close enough to the black hole and crosses its event horizon will it vanish from our sight. There is also a misconception that black holes will ultimately swallow up the exclusive macrocosm. This isn't true because black holes aren't evenly allotted throughout the macrocosm. And their gravitational draw isn't strong enough to beat the expansion of the macrocosm. In fact, over time, Black holes will dematerialize due to a process known as peddling radiation, which causes them to lose mass and ultimately vanish. Another popular misconception is that black holes are doors to other confines or worlds. While this makes for great wisdom fabrication, there is no substantiation to suggest that black holes conduct to other confines or worlds. Black holes are exclusively massive objects that have a significant gravitational draw. The lurking manners of black holes reminds us that we still don't know much about the cosmos. However, by continuing to investigate the secrets of black holes, we can obtain a better knowledge of how our universe functions and what part humans play in it. And with each finding, new concerns and research routes emerge, guaranteeing that the study of black holes remains an interesting and important field of study for many years to come.